Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a highly requested video, how I edit my YouTube videos. And I'm going to show you guys today the video I'm editing, which is one I posted like a week ago now, talking about all of my income streams from 2023, how much I made from each one. So I'm going to show you that because I like to do sit down videos and I do a lot of screen recordings and overlays and stuff when I do those types of videos. But then I'm also going to show you some things that I do when I do a more vlog style video. And I'm going to show you everything from how I import and edit on an external hard drive and all those things in case anybody is a beginner so you can always fast forward to the actual editing tips and tricks if you're not a beginner and you know how to do all of that but let's go ahead head over to my computer i got a lot of editing to do today so i'm just going to show you guys some of the things that i do for my sit down videos and then i'll switch over the second part of this video will be talking about a little bit more vlog style videos so i want to start off by saying i do edit all of my content on an external hard drive i actually don't know if i could really recommend this one because it is a true like external hard drive meaning it has moving pieces as opposed to an ssd and i almost lost all of my raw footage off of my last one because it just randomly stopped working so after this particular one is full which it's almost there i'm going to switch over to an ssd i'll link down in the comments the one that i'm planning on using when this one gets full but i do use final cut pro to edit so this tutorial or whatever is going to all be for final cut pro all right here i am in final cut pro and so i'm going to actually open up my library on my external hard drive this is final cut pro on my computer and you can go open library I'm gonna go other and then you're gonna click you could either click locate or new I'm gonna click locate to find my my external hard drive and then I have my Seagate portable drive folder for YouTube and then this library is what I am currently editing out of so I'm gonna open that library first before I even start all right so now that that's loaded I am gonna start editing this video but just to show you guys really quick when I have a new video that I'm gonna upload I just go new event title the event so for this one I'm just gonna do this video that we're recording right now which will be how I edit my videos create a new project within it I want that checked 1080p the resolution I keep all of this and just press ok and it will create a new project for me within this folder so how I edit my videos so then on my external hard drive, let's go back here. I have essentially like all of my videos organized on here. So 2023 income streams, these are the four clips that I need to edit. And so I would just like drag these literally right into here. However, since I've already done that, I'm not gonna do that again. Instead, we're just gonna go ahead and start editing this video. Okay, so once I have all my clips in here, the first thing I do for pretty much every video, whether it be sit down or not, is I actually go through and I just start cutting out all of the like gaps in my in my talking so i'm going to go through and just cut out these blank spaces essentially and i pretty much go through and do this for the entire video before i do anything else so that's kind of my step one is like once i have all my clips imported onto final cut pro i will just go through and cut out all these dead spots i just literally quickly go like this <laughs> Another thing I like to do is I say like a lot, so I will cut out my likes, my ums, or just anything where it sounds like I'm rambling or things sound really redundant, so I'll just kind of go through and listen to it and cut out all of those words. And by the way, keyboard shortcut is B for blade, which is the scissors, and then A to switch back to cursor. So I'm just gonna do this for a while, for a few minutes. Another thing I'll do as I'm going through this the first time through is I like to think about where would be a good spot for B-roll. I like to make a mental list or you could write down like if there's any B-roll footage I want to go get to add in over it as well as like I just kind of make a mental note of this would be a good place for word overlay or screen recordings or things like that. So I kind of am just thinking about that as I'm going through and listening to this the first time through. So I just made it to the end of the video the first pass through is now almost 19 minutes long and by the way that took me almost an hour and a half to just cut out the dead spots and the ums and the likes and all of that stuff usually when I make it to the end I have a blank background that I just have saved as PNG and I always just add this in here so that when I upload it onto YouTube I can put you know related videos or 
extra videos for people to click on. So now I'm gonna enter kind of phase two of my editing. So now I'm gonna actually go back all the way to the beginning, rewatch it again. And in this video with it being like sit down informative and something that I'm gonna use a lot of graphics for, I'm actually gonna start putting those in. And while I'm going through this, I'm also going to kind of think about it from the lens of am I being repetitive? Am I rambling? Things like that to be able to cut it down even more. I personally love like sub 20 minute videos. So this is 19 minutes and that is kind of my sweet spot between like 15 and 20. So I probably am not gonna try and cut it down too, too much more but you know if there's any parts where i'm like rambling or anything like that or feels really repetitive i will cut that out so now i'm just gonna go through watch it again and i'm gonna start adding in my graphics whenever i say introducing what i like to post on my channel i like to plug my instagram page just because i don't know hopefully people will come follow me on instagram but i just do a little screen recording of my most recent post to give people an idea of me who i am and have them hopefully come you know follow me on instagram as well so i'll just add that in really quick to the video here my name is Jess and on my channel I like to post all sorts of content from life so I hope you guys find this video interesting if you do make sure you give that thumbs up button and with that let's go ahead and dive into it sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't I have purchased graphics that include like a thumbs up like and comment type of thing you can buy these or make them yourself or whatever it's something I randomly include sometimes it's kind of just hopefully gets people to actually press like investments dividend income Google ad revenue brand partnership so this would be a spot where I think a graphic could be cool and I actually think what could be cool for this is an image of each one that I'm talking about so let's go to Canva really quick and I have all of these templates that I've started my projects this is kind of where I just like make all of my graphics so those were dividend so dividend investing so this could be a graphic where I show money increase and I honestly just like kind of play around with this. So I'm gonna just download this. I do pay for Canva Pro so that I can have transparent backgrounds. So it's just something to consider. And income, Google. Next is Google ad revenue. So I'm just gonna go for this one. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of Google AdSense. So I'm just gonna add in graphics for all of the revenue sources that I'm talking about, right? So I've got these all positioned in here and I'm just gonna adjust the timing and rewatch it really quick so they pop up and I say the actual word. And main income streams in 2023. So those were dividend investments, dividend income, Google ad revenue, brand partnerships, UGC, Rover, affiliate marketing, and then freelance work. So I'm actually gonna start off by talking about freelance work because I only have one month work. Okay, so I'm gonna start a different type of graphic now. I have some of these just kind of saved on my Canva, but I'm gonna make this income stream. And this already has actually a transparent background. So you'll be able to see when I download it and upload it onto Final Cut Pro, but I'm gonna just download this as a with a transparent background. Also, part of the reason I do this in Canva and then move it over to Final Cut Pro is because I just feel like the fonts are better in Canva. I have more font options. So I'm gonna overlay this and I'm gonna do like a transition into this. So I'll usually just mess around with a few until I find one that I like. I'm actually gonna start off by talking about freelance work because I only have start off by talking about freelance work because I only have one month where I actually did freelance work. If you're so this would be a good place to do a screen recording of I talk about Fiverr or Upwork. Writing articles, all sorts of different things and you can check out. I'm just gonna go literally to Fiverr but just so you guys know how I do it I actually use QuickTime Player for my screen recording and then you literally just go like start new screen recording up at the top. That's it. So now I'm just gonna go through the entire video again and see if there's any like screen recordings that I want to put over it. Graphics like I was just showing you guys with like the words how I made that in Canva and then overlaid it on on the screen and we'll kind of go from there. So I, that's kind of my next phase of editing. It's just like adding in my graphic b-roll and screen recordings and things like that. Okay, so I've got all my screen recordings in here and the last thing I wanted to show you guys is some sound effects. I mostly just like to do like keyboard clicking or mouse clicking and things like that. I don't typically do much else for sound effects. I just have them saved onto a folder onto my external hard drive same as kind of everything else and yeah the main things I have are like a keyboard pencil writing a mouse click and I use actually epidemic sound so I'll just show you really quick on epidemic sound you can search for sound effects if you want something like I don't know literally any sort of noise 
So um, anyways, I found some that I liked and just have saved them down onto my external hard drive so I don't have to go refine them every time. So I have a mouse click that I like and for each time I put up a screen recording, I like to do the mouse click just because I, I hope, I feel like it maybe grabs people's attention a little bit more. Like if maybe if they're just like listening to my video rather than actually watching it, it maybe could be like an indicator that there's something up on the screen instead of just listening, they should look at the screen. So yeah, that's basically all I do. And I go through and do this for each like screen recording that I that I have in the video. And then I typically also will do it for stuff like this that I just like pop up on the screen. Roll for affiliate marketing, so like that. So that's basically it. So I'm just gonna go through and add in these sound effects for each of my graphics. I think the only other thing I was thinking about showing you guys isn't actually super relevant for this video, but I thought it would be good to show you how I do it is when I do me talking on the screen in a little circle in the corner of like a screen recording. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that really quick, even though it's not really relevant for this video. So I'll use this. Robin Hood screen recording example. First what I do is I switch the spots so that the version of me talking is on top of the screen recording, if that makes sense, like in the timeline. Then I come over here to elements and I go shapes and then I overlay this here. Then we have the circle over my face. So I come back over here and I go stencil alpha. That makes it clear. This also has a drop shadow blur, which I don't like. So I just turn that off. And then I also will just like resize it to be my whole face or whatever, as big as I want it. Then in order to get, you know, it back over the background, I create a new compound clip. So go new compound clip, press okay. It will create it overlaid. And then I will just resize this to be the size of me talking that I want it. So when I play it, it will look like this. I think it's super user friendly, but in that platform and kind of see like how much companies are. So that's how I do that. And it's actually quite simple. It's just like something I've gotten in the habit of doing over and over and over again. But I think that's everything I wanted to show you on this video, the sit down video, especially because the main things that I do for these are like graphic overlays, which I showed you how I do in Canva sound effects. And then when I do kind of like the screen recording myself talking in the corner, that's how I do that. So the last thing I do is I add music and I will show you on my vlog since I do a little bit more music added to those I'll show you on that one so next clips will be me editing a different video editing my vlog that I posted right before this one all right you guys today I'm editing my a more vlog style video I'm editing my nest with me nursery starting my nursery video the video that we edited together yesterday just went live today so I'll link that video if you guys want to see the final product on that but since I also do post a lot of vlogs on my channel I thought I would also show you guys some of the kind of things that I think about ways that I edit for my more vlog style videos I will start out by saying the first few things that I do are pretty much exactly the same as the sit downs where I just go through and I cut out all of the lulls that I naturally have when I'm talking. I cut out the ums and the likes and all of that. So I first go through and do all of that. And then I also at that time will cut down on the parts where I'm not actually talking. So for example, in this video right here, this clip is six minutes long. I'm obviously not going to include six minutes worth of footage. So I typically will just find a few snippets of, you know, what I want to show on this part of this video, which for this part is just going to be us like taking measurements of the room. So I just typically find a few little clips that look good and I'll go through and delete the rest of the clip. I typically try not to have more than five seconds of any one thing that I'm doing, or I try to change the angle when I'm recording it so that I could maybe show 15 seconds of me doing the dishes or something but it's maybe three different angles of me doing it so that just keeps it a little bit more fast paced and I think hopefully keeps people's attention a little bit better I don't think I moved the camera around too much when we were doing this so I'm just gonna include sort of a couple clips of the key key moments I guess so yeah I'm just gonna go through and do that like I said first couple steps for vlogs are pretty much the exact same as as my sit down videos where I'm just kind of cutting it down to be a lot shorter and again with vlogs I just try and think about like keeping it fast paced for the parts where I'm not talking so also in this video, I had recorded some stuff on my phone when we were doing stuff. So that's just something as like an FYI, a lot of times I will actually record like if we're out and about, I will record stuff on my phone. And I just mentioned that because you don't need to have like a fancy camera to be able to do this stuff. So, you know, just work with what you got. If you have an iPhone, like you can absolutely record on your phone. All right, so I've done my first pass through this video. That took me about a little over an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes roughly. So I cut down an hour and 40 minutes worth of footage down to just shy of 15 minutes. Like I mentioned earlier, I like to keep my videos around like 15 to 20 minutes. So this will be a little bit of a shorter one for me. When I was recording, I was a little nervous. It was only gonna be 10 
or 12 minute video. So I'm glad I'm closer to 15 minutes. But what I like to do for my vlogs next is I like to just watch it through kind of one time and just check in on the pacing. So I like to make sure that it is fast paced. It keeps going, especially in the parts where I switched to me not talking. I just like to make sure that I'm not losing my own attention <laughs> as I'm rewatching it. So I'm gonna go through, rewatch it. And then after that will be like transitions and music. And so one thing I like to do when I'm thinking about ways to keep it fast paced and keep it more engaging visually. I will either do things like speed up the speed, make it 2x, or I will do a 10 burns or sometimes I'll crop it in or whatever. So a good example is this clip right here. It's 15 seconds long. It is a little bit long for me, but it's when Chris is painting. So this could be one where I actually do more of a Ken Burns on it ending there. So it just kind of like is still moving even though it is a very subtle one. So I might do it a little bit more dramatically than that. So you actually can tell and like still keeps your attention. And I'm gonna shorten it a bit too. So yeah, I like that a lot better. And then this one is also way too long. I'm gonna just cut that down a bit. I sped it up. And then I also shortened it to be like eight seconds. So that's basically all I'm doing as I'm going through this is just making sure that it's like captivating my attention and it's keeping me engaged as I'm rewatching it. So the next thing I like to do, especially on these multi-day vlogs, is I like to put like little transitions in between the day. I know a lot of vloggers don't do that, so you can do that however you want. So for in between these two clips, I jump ahead like a week or something. So I might just go solid here, maybe pastel. I'll put it in between the clip. This is 10 seconds long, so I definitely don't want it that long. Maybe three seconds. And it might be nice to have a transition with it. So I'll put that in there. Shorten that transition as well. I don't actually like this color, so I'm gonna change it over here. It's gonna make it a little darker. So it's not so like loud and in your face. And I just kind of mess around with these colors until I get a color that feels right. And then I might just put over this text. So maybe I'll do, I might just do like a basic text, basic title and go a few days later. I may have to do like part two, but yeah, that's the update on the nursery. All right, you guys, hello, checking in. So yeah, I like that a lot better for the transition. So I'm just gonna go through and add in transitions like that in between days or whatever. A lot of times I might just do a simple wipe in between, but yeah, just go through, add transition just to kind of like make it make more sense to me anyways that it's a different day or whatever. But yeah, that's basically that. And then finally, the last thing I do is actually go through and do music. And on my vlogs personally, it takes me a lot longer to find good music. I really want my music to match, you know, the vibe of the video or whatever so if i'm doing something more like upbeat and exciting i like to do more upbeat music if i'm doing something more chill like working it'll usually be a little bit slower paced music sometimes if it's like cleaning i want it to be a little bit more enthusiastic i can get you pumped up to do some cleaning <laughs> stuff like that so i just go through add in music and then the biggest thing i'll just show you guys an example i don't even know what song this is but the biggest thing i like to do with the music is fade it in and out and so i will usually actually start my music a little bit into me talking if that makes sense. So it's not like starting right here, it's actually starting a few seconds before this video. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I spent a lot of time looking at music because I want it to be like the perfect right vibe. I honestly don't know if this song is the right vibe for this part of the video, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep messing with it. But that's basically all I do, and I make sure it's quiet enough, hopefully, that you can hear me through the other, you know, parts of the video where I'm talking. But other than that, then I just, you know, export my video and get it live on YouTube. I will say I also use Canva for my thumbnails. Let me know if you guys want a whole separate video on making thumbnails in Canva. I don't think it's too complex or complicated, but maybe it helps some people out out there. But that's basically it, you guys. I hope you found this interesting and useful. I hope I covered everything that you guys were curious about. As far as my editing, I know I went over kind of like my process, getting videos imported, how I think about my vlogs and keeping them fast paced, how I do some of the other edits, having, you know, screen recording with me talking in the corner, how I do that. We covered my graphics and how I get those. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. These are just things that I personally do that I think help elevate my videos and make them a little bit better. So please let me know in the comments if you have any you know recommendations for my videos things that you think i should try out and implement i'm always trying to learn new you know editing tips and tricks and be a better youtuber as well so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video useful as always and i will catch up with you next time